Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, my dear friends? I'm making a little video, my love. Say hi to the people. Hi. <laughs> it's beautiful here. Look, we have a beautiful pool. Infinity pool. An infinity pool. <laughs> and the sea, but it's raining here. Tropical season. And where are we, baby? Tropical sea. Yeah, where are we now? Can In you... the hotel. And where? In what country? Uh, Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> very, very beautiful here. So, guys, a little update about the markets. Um, Bitcoin has gone up a lot the past few, what is it, months? Eh? But it's becoming parabolic. Eh? Um, and um, it did breach uh, the 10,000 since my last video. It did go to 12,000, but in the meantime, we're at 15,000 or so. So it continues to go up. And, um, uh, and, and altcoins have gotten a good beating. Uh, versus Bitcoin, not versus uh, fiat, um, with some exceptions, um, some have actually gone up a lot uh, the past uh, month. Uh, IOTA, uh, one of the biggest riser, uh, risers, I think, has tenfolded again from 1 billion to 10 billion. Um, and um, my apologies for all my wrong calls on IOTA, they don't stop. Uh, they were wrong again around 1 billion when I recommended to sell it. Well, it's 10 billion now, so uh, bad call. Uh, and congratulations to them. Um, Byteball has gotten a, a beating, continues to be beaten down versus Bitcoin and versus Fiat. Uh, can uh, is, is holding ground, eh? uh, but um, I'm very happy. Uh, with that I really don't feel bad about that but uh, in the community there is a lot of uh, bitching and whining and complaining and that to me gives me confidence that I'm buying something uh, at uh, a good valuation um, uh, usually uh, when people are complaining it means the valuation is not good when people are happy and euphoric and and and, and are uh, praising the leadership uh, usually the valuation is on the high end so, so, uh, but of course you also have to always look at uh, fundamentals. Uh, what, are, what are the criticisms of people and are they justified? And uh, the same for um, uh, the praises. Eh? What are praising people when things are going well? And are these um, uh, earned, uh, earned um, well, is it true? Eh? Um, because something can go up or down and it may be incorrect. Uh, the market is not always right. Actually, the market is almost always wrong. Um, if you look at the historical valuation of an asset, it's either overpriced or underpriced. But fairly priced, it rarely is. So, blah, 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 and boom, boom, boom. But, um, yeah, uh, very happy with how the markets go. Um, I'm, I'm just very happy I continue to see opportunities somewhere to invest in. Um, for me, that's mainly bite ball right now. Um, bites and black bites continue to be underpriced. Um, and it's also a life philosophy that I want to follow more and more. And, and just a way of investing, it's the Roger Ver style of investing that you invest strongly in something you believe in and then you hold, hold, hold. Eh? You never sell. Um, uh, but it's interesting since my um, video in, um, on the beach there where I was talking about Roger Ver that he's not selling his Bitcoin for other coins. Well, that switch has happened since then. Uh, Roger Ver has decided to invest a lot of his Bitcoins into Bitcoin Cash. And that was uh, part of why it went up so much. But now it has corrected back to below 0.1 Bitcoin, or it's about 0.1, but the low was yesterday at 0.08 Bitcoin, but it has gone up to 0.5 Bitcoin in the, in the how do you call that, um, 
uh, let's call it a, a bubble or hype uh, only a month back or so um, so these things are extremely volatile eh? it's unbelievable in the cryptocurrency markets uh, but um, my guess would be that um, Bitcoin will correct the moment it goes uh, start CME trading which is tomorrow or in two days uh, it's typical um, well not always typical it does happen that sometimes when something is quoted on a big exchange uh, it continues to go up that's possible uh, but uh, on average uh, when it's quoted on the exchange well it has already gone up before uh, people anticipating this event buying it up pushing the price up and then when it gets quoted it's uh, time to correct uh, and time to dump so so this uh, are good odds to happen tomorrow in today's that uh, Bitcoin finally starts to go down and the biggest question I'm getting and I'm asking myself of course always is will altcoins pump or is it over and out then and my guess is as I have always guessed uh, and I could be wrong but that uh, altcoins will end the bubble not uh, not Bitcoin uh, so uh, why uh, because uh, just if you look at the past uh, that has been the case uh, in 2013 uh, Bitcoin peaked first at $1,150 corrected and only after that you saw many other coins reach their all-time high in Bitcoin value uh, I didn't verify the charts on that but that's just from my memory um, just in general yeah uh, Bitcoin goes up first and then the alts um, it was also in this bull cycle Bitcoin reached its low in uh, 2015 January at $160 went up to 200 was there around half of a year uh, but in that period uh, uh, actually towards the end of that period in the end 2015 Ethereum was the first to pump a lot but it was only after Bitcoin had found its low and had stabilized a little bit higher uh, only then Ethereum started to pump a lot and then in 2016 many others followed Monero and, and many others and then in 2017 everything all the altcoins started to go up versus Bitcoin well bi by Bitcoin from 10 to 10 went up after that altcoins went up too uh, so um, uh, that's been uh, how, how it was in the past uh, uh, Bitcoin actually uh, has always led I was wrong about that I said altcoins were leading this bubble but that's not really true Bitcoin always had first it's low then uh, fire start to go up and only then altcoins go up uh, only this time in this bubble altcoins have outperformed Bitcoin and for example Ethereum there uh, early on but many other altcoins later on uh, have outperformed Bitcoin but um, of course um, uh, well um, that's not the case right now if you would look at the charts you will find many coins that actually have not outperformed Bitcoin uh, since Bitcoin just went up so much and pushed down altcoins a lot huh? it's really um, uh, so 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 that's true uh, but um, for me right now it's just a great opportunity to buy these coins that you think have much better fundamentals are lowly priced versus Bitcoin and uh, are fairly priced versus fiat and that's the best you can expect right now I don't you can't expect right now cheap uh, coins versus fiat I don't think so uh, it's just that that was the year two years ago eh? but um, but but that doesn't mean it's over eh? I, I do am still invested with the majority of my capital in crypto markets uh, because yeah um, uh, as mentioned in many of my previous videos or at least the few last ones I do think over the next one two years we will get um, much higher valuation still than what we see now uh, uh, is it 350 billion or maybe even 400 probably 350 but yeah I think we will see 1 trillion um, over the next year two years uh, and I do think uh, that, um, that, 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 that from here uh, many uh, altcoins will outperform Bitcoin um, not in the least of course Bitcoin Cash I still believe strongly in this project um, I don't believe in Bitcoin 
um, I do believe it has the brand name Bitcoin of course the first the money comes in first via Bitcoin of all the new money uh, that comes into the market but very quickly it transfers towards uh, altcoins and stays there uh, people don't go back to Bitcoin uh, when they start believing in another coin uh, because um, uh, well they may of course stop believing in a certain coin but then they don't switch back to Bitcoin or no, they go to another competing project that they like more um, so that that's how it goes um, it's it's logical um, the, the, the the argument for Bitcoin um, is getting less and less uh, belief uh, that the network effect uh, is uh, king and that uh, thanks to that Bitcoin will rule uh, of course many people believe that and every time Bitcoin goes up versus altcoins more and more people believe that again but I would say that right now it's a really bad time to believe that uh, because Bitcoin just went up a lot versus uh, all the other coins so now it's a good time to believe the other side and take the other side which is well uh, Bitcoin is now 65% dominance uh, again uh, it dropped from 80% in the beginning of the year to 40% dominance and now it's back to 65% but the odds are low it will go back to 80% uh, even 70% it may reach it in a peak but that's it at best and then after that the odds are very very high right now already that uh, Bitcoin will again lose a lot of dominance in in the crypto coin market uh, cap ranking um, so the only reason why I have Bitcoin is to put up um, to buy alts uh, and it's always a low amount uh, in my portfolio um, but um, yeah uh, so that's uh, that's uh, my situation uh, in general December 2017 this year has been amazing uh, and uh, I'm very grateful for everything um, we were very lucky uh, that uh, that uh, that cryptocurrency has uh, reached mass market adoption. Um, uh, the, 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 the the growth is uh, the, the the momentum is extremely strong, and and it looks very promising. Um, but within uh, the cryptocurrency community, uh, there is a lot of work to do. I think. Um, cryptos um, uh, yeah, uh, still have a lot of work to do before they are uh, user friendly enough uh, to be used by the common man uh, and to be uh, and to make sense to use it does make sense a lot to invest in them today but it doesn't make much sense to use them um, and and um, and I really like um, the approach of uh, of Tony uh, the lead dev of Byteball to focus on what cryptocurrency can do that fiat cannot do. Uh, this is a click that happened for me thanks to doing the interview with him. You should check it out, especially part three, uh, the last part. But it's something that hadn't clicked with me before, really. I really wanted to work as Roger Verdes, uh, uh, getting cryptocurrency adopted in brick and mortar stores uh, to make just simple payments. But it does. Uh, it, it's not a logical. Uh, it's not the logical approach. Um, it's going to be a lot more work to do it that way than to try to target a uh, new way of doing business that cryptocurrency allows. Um, uh, and Tony is really on the right track there. He has the right vision, and he is working by the by. He's building Bible that way. I think that's really really smart of him. Uh, so yeah, you cannot do conditional payments with fiat. You cannot give. Uh, on your bank uh, a, a, a payment uh, and say like okay you can pay this guy if he uh, does this or if he does that eh? um, this is not a, a possible payment you can make via a bank wire um, but you can with cryptocurrency and 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 it's even done in such a way that um, um, uh, yeah yeah well the, the third party there needed is the oracle uh, somebody who, who who decides like has it happened or not eh? but even this can be um, um, also um, well uh, it's a data provider eh? uh, but often this can be uh, very objectively done uh, and neutrally done eh? uh, so that you can trust that so I think that's that's really great and I, I'm uh, I'm very excited to for myself to 
become more and more a, a evangelist of bite ball in this case uh, of, but I would recommend that to anyone for the coins that they're uh, enthusiastic about to take the Roger Ver approach which is invest strongly in them when they are quite cheap not when they just went up a lot uh, but when you see a chance uh, invest strongly in them and um, and then uh, really focus on, on, on making the project a success uh, for me that's what attracts me more and more uh, compared to the alternative is to well invest I just look at it financially investing coins that go up or down and and, and, and uh, but but this, this to me in, uh, interests me less and less uh, uh, but okay it's whatever you want I mean there is so much value you can create a lot of value also in the market by buying things that have gone down a lot but have good fundamentals and selling things that have gone up a lot but have bad fundamentals eh? you do create a lot of value there and eh? some people don't understand that but that's certainly the case um, uh, but uh, but yeah you're always behind your computer analyzing stuff and and so uh, the li the life of an evangelist is uh, well you can be among the people a lot more eh? I see people uh, do meetings do conferences and this uh, attracts me more and more these days so I want to congratulate all of you uh, for uh, amazing uh, returns in 2017 um, anyone that's been in the crypto market this year has done well um, and has learned a lot uh, uh, in these extremely volatile markets when you make mistakes very quickly you uh, you uh, you you can make your calculation that it was a mistake and and, and you learn so I think that's really uh, really great and uh, uh, thanks so much for all your support uh, my youtube channel has grown a lot uh, from 1000 to 5000 subscribers now this year so that's really uh, amazing to see and also my twitter uh, a lot of followers there um, so yeah uh, if you want more regular updates from me just uh, yeah subscribe to my twitter I tweet every day uh, so um, the and videos is only once a week or so, so that's a lot less. Bye-bye, guys.